Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, June 26, 2015. If you want to follow us on Twitter, go to CADEX TV. There's been an attack on uh, mainly tourists in Tunisia that has left at least 27 people dead. The attack occurred when two gunmen uh, attacked tourists on a beach in Tunis. This, of course, is the capital of Tunisia, a popular European uh, vacation destination. Uh, the Interior Ministry in Tunisia is saying that the death toll is expected to rise. A, uh, an exchange of gunfire apparently ensued at some point as security forces uh, either present at the beach or shortly thereafter began to fight back. Um, there was a mass exodus from the beach. There apparently were hundreds of people on the beach. Uh, people were sent to their hotels and told to remain in their rooms with the doors locked. The situation is a little cloudy right now. The, uh, the death toll keeps increasing just about every hour. Meanwhile, in France, there was a terrorist attack, according to the Interior Ministry. Uh, multiple people are now in custody after an attack on a gas factory uh, down uh, near Lyon in that area. A severed head was posted at the entrance to the factory, and authorities are still trying to identify that victim. Um, the attack began when a car crashed at the gate and plowed into gas canisters, touching off an explosion near the factory. Uh, apparently, people are in custody. The French are saying that uh, a man arrested in the attack was known to intelligence officials for possible ties to Islamic terrorists. The uh, Greek-European debt situation is ongoing, although there is a hard stop. A hard stop is coming up this weekend. Uh, according to the German finance minister now, Wolfgang Schobel, um, there is a 50-50 chance of reaching an agreement with Greece about the reforms it needs for further aid. Uh, that's actually a pretty high percentage coming from the Germans, so there might be some cause for optimism. A sightseeing plane with uh, nine people on board, uh, including eight cruise ship passengers, crashed in Alaska, killing everybody on board. Uh, there are no survivors. Uh, the plane was owned by Promec Air. It was a de Havilland DH-3 Otter. It was bringing uh, tourist passengers coming from a cruise ship, the Holland America uh, MS Westerdam, which left Seattle on a tour of the uh, Alaska fjords. So those people, uh, with the exception of the pilot, were all on the cruise ship. The Chinese stock markets uh, plunged about 7% today, uh, with one key index recording its biggest drop since 2008 apparently being prompted by tight liquidity conditions ahead of the end of quarter reports and uncertainty over the central bank's easing policies. The market's now down over 20 percent from seven-year highs hit only two weeks ago. Uh, selling is accelerated by investors rushing to unwind positions that are built on borrowed money. The Chinese government has intervened in the past before by either uh, buying stock or delaying uh, the pace of initial public offerings, so we'll see what they'll do. We covered the story uh, yesterday about the uh, outrage of taxi drivers in France over the introduction of Uber. Now French's, France's president, Francois Hollande, uh, speaking from uh, Brussels, where he was uh, helping to negotiate the European, Greek, uh, Gre European Greece debt deal has weighed in. Mr. Hollande has since returned to Paris, where he's participating in a cabinet meeting right now about the terror attack by Lyon. But Mr. Hollande also said that he wants uh, Uber's cheapest car service in France shut down and its vehicle seizes, uh, seized. But Uber refuses to do this until a ruling by the uh, top court in France. Uh, the standoff uh, reflects larger tensions in France over how to regulate a fast-moving technology and stay globally competitive while ensuring their labor protections. Uh, the top security official in France said that Uber is facing multiple investigations. He uh, spoke on the radio a day after the striking taxi drivers attacked the Uber livery cars and set fires to tires on major highways in and around Paris. Um, so that's going to be an ongoing discussion going on over there. You have to hand it to Stephen Catlin. Catlin is the founder of uh, Catlin Insurance, Catlin Syndicates, which was acquired by Excel for a very high price. He is now uh, the vice chairman of Excel Catlin. Mr. Catlin could theoretically buy several Caribbean islands and stay on them and just uh, spend the rest of his life in luxury. 
but he is still being very active. One of Mr. Cantlin's pet peeves has always been the inefficiencies in the London market. Mr. Cantlin was speaking at the Reactions London Market Conference earlier today. He told the audience that they must address the fact that processing in London hasn't moved on significantly in 40 years and that the market stands to lose out to modern rivals. He called the uh, London market's business processes a disgrace and Luddite. He said uh, the poor processing was helping make the cost of doing business in London uh, as expensive and unwieldy as possible. He said our general expenses are too high, our processes in London are a disgrace. Good for him. That's the news for the weekend. If there are any breaking events, we'll come back and tell you. Uh, we'll see you on Monday. Thank you.